There's some more viewer submitted mid journey styles here for you today. Simply add these to the end of your prompt separated by a comma and hopefully you get some pretty cool results like what we're about to go through. And again, I want to thank everyone who submitted. We're still catching up on the last submissions, but let's get straight into it. We've got Doug Rinaldi. Have you tried trash poker style yet? It was a tattoo fad for a bit. Very cool aesthetic. So we have here trash poker style and it is a really cool and consistent style. If you move on to the woman's face, now you get obviously the woman's face, but that painted style with that kind of beige background and tends to use a lot of reds in that it's real high contrast and just looks really cool and it applies a similar effect to the hulk although the hulk is green there's more green than the red but it just has that nice painted style to it but when you move on to say the terminator we get more of that red again so we get that red paint splatter and we've got that beige so the dirty background that dirty paint style and of course move on to the samurai standing in front of mount fuji we get a same effect again with the sun being red so you can see after these first few images exactly the type of effect it has on those styles it's all very consistent we move on to Darth Vader and we see more of that consistency, that dirty red paint style added to that high contrast sort of black and white, that bit of texture overall looks pretty cool. And another from Jeep Holden, he has actually submitted a few times in the past, some really awesome styles, glowing origami. So you can see here glowing origami just with this image alone, you can see it's got an origami but it's glowing. We move on to the woman's face, same thing, same color even. We've got that glowing, almost like someone's created something with origami and popped a light bulb behind it. And the Incredible Hulk isn't glowing, but he is origami. That green look is all there. And this looks like pretty close to an actual photo. Move on to the Terminator. And he is some very serious level origami. I'd like to see who could make origami like this, uh, but with the actual light inside would be very impressive. Moving on to the Samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji. The sun is glowing in the background. The Samurai is an origami samurai and a pretty cool image overall and little bits of paper and bits down the bottom to make up the grass was a nice touch and mario has also been made out of origami and has that same effect same coloring uh, i like the way it's kind of uh, posed him with his hand open uh, just a nice cool sort of uh, impact and this time we have a handful of prompts here including preschool drawing bleeding ufc fighter stand age character these were really cool however I didn't use Bleeding UFC Fighter in this video simply because of the YouTube monetization <laughs> strike or sometimes you can be a bit funny. So I've left it out. However, I recommend trying Bleeding UFC Fighter if you want some really cool results. But moving on to preschool drawing. Now, these preschoolers are pretty advanced, but the drawing style is definitely there and has a great impact as well. So the woman's face, if a preschooler drew that, I'm very impressed. But overall, I think the way it interprets the preschooler is more to do with the colors and the style. In the Terminator, this time it doesn't really have that preschool style with it. It just looks like a really cool drawing made by an artist. But um, it's, you still, it's a little bit on and off with the preschool side of things, but the drawing side of things, it really nails. You move on to the Incredible Hulk, and we do get uh, some naive style in that, but uh, with the, the coloring. The coloring has, it's kind of like a blend between a really good art, art style and a preschool drawing. And the Futuristic Car, got those nice kid-friendly colors. Very cool drawing, and I like the design of the car itself as well. I feel like that's also very suitable for a like kid style of cartoon with the big wheels and the proportions of the car. And Pikachu, the coloring in the background, the way it's not perfect and not within the lines, I like the way it's done that. And it, this looks like a legitimately scanned drawing. Stone Age character. This one was really fun. I definitely recommend having a play with this one. I did it to the woman's face and we got kind of like a, an ancient style of woman, but like a 3D render style. I really like the way it, it has interpreted that and changed the woman overall. And Darth Vader, he is trapped in the Stone Age with dust and uh, probably ash all over him. There's probably a volcano in the background. Different effect it had on him than I expected. Mario, he is Stone Age Mario. Look at that hair. Look at those fists. The style of Mario mixed with the Stone Age. Very cool overall. And look at his face, the way he's angry and his moustache is a little bit different. The hair coming out of his arms, I loved it. And there was another one I had to share again. So Stone Age Mario again. We've got this one a different style kind of uh, a little less sort of warrior buff more kind of like standard bit of a, a tubbier version of mario but still angry wearing old-fashioned wilderness sort of like uh, ropes and his hat like very much made in the wilderness and he's got bits of plants growing out of his shoes and i just thought this was a really unique and both images i had trouble choosing between so i chose both and the incredible hulk 
Looks like he is the leader of a tribe. And I think this is very reminiscent of some artwork I may have seen somewhere, but I can't tell you what it is because I'm not really a huge Marvel Comics fan, but I do love the Marvel movies. So, And the futuristic car, a very cool car. Looks like it's gone back in time, landed in the Stone Ages. And we even got like a bit of a, if you look at the background, it almost looks like a little bit of a, like a stone type temple. But uh, this image is really cool. And the reflection on the wheels, I thought was a nice touch to really give it that sort of desert high sun look. And the Terminator, he's not even a cyborg, literally just a Stone Age mummy with uh, sunglasses and some pretty cool earrings that kind of look like uh, like subwoofers. Uh, this one, this definitely turned out different than expected. So Stone Age character is one I definitely recommend having to play with. You get some pretty unique results. And of course, Pikachu again, he's caught in the Stone Age, bits of stick and that sticking out of him. He's got a, a lightsaber, I think. <laughs> I don't know what, what that is, but uh, just that dirty look, very cool. But the modern family home, instead of going back to the Stone Ages, it has been built out of stone, which I think was also a nice touch. We still got that modern architecture look, but uh, just the use of stonework, very cool. And liquid color spill. You get some very interesting results with this too, kind of like a liquid paint spill style. And the woman's face, it's all, all over her face, like she's been painting and the eye is perfectly clean, so she's obviously had her eyes closed. But lots of paint on her face, very interesting effect. Darth Vader, he is currently like exploding with paint and uh, looks like he's in the middle of a lightsaber battle, but the uh, lightsabers emit paint, so that goes everywhere. And Pikachu, he is splashed in some Pikachu-colored paint, and I just like the effect and the way the paint is kind of dripping off his face and mouth. And Mario, same again, just jumping through a puddle of paint, his hand melting off. There's a little bit of a case where it's almost like they're jumping in paint, but certain elements just start to drip like they're melting, like they're actually made out of paint. And the Terminator, a bit different with the very serious eyes inside the endoskeleton skull and the dripping paint effect kind of just whacked on top. Uh, not the most creative, but still a very nifty effect. The futuristic car, just driving through the paint. Uh, yeah, I don't have much to say, but I like the use of color and the use of reflection on the car itself. Now, Hip Hop Streetwear, another very cool, never considered using uh, things like fashionable outfits in your prompts. So for the woman's face, it's just kind of like a, a hip hop style drawing uh, and a very, like the, the earrings, the sunglasses and the hairstyle, very hip hop. But you add it to the Incredible Hulk and he is like the incredible rapping Hulk. Uh, it's like someone you see in an album cover. It looks like he's dressed up about to go into a rap battle. And of course, Mario just looks like he's on the streets, bit of a street tough, doing it tough, wearing street style gear. Still keeping to those colors though, with the blue and the red and the jacket. But uh Really mean look on his face. Yeah, very hardcore. Moving on to Pikachu. He is another streetwise sort of hip-hop style kind of guy. Got the hat and the hoodie, but the ears still sticking out on top. And this time, I thought this was interesting. Beautiful waterfall in nature. It's a jumper with the waterfall on it. Doesn't really match up with the rest, but uh, you never know what to expect. Sometimes you just get a few little differences as you're using these kind of styles. And the samurai standing in front of me at Fuji. This is a stylish looking samurai. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Afro Samurai without the Afro, uh, if you've ever seen that cartoon from back in the day. But uh, very cool. And I like the way it's gone kind of very neutral with the bright reds. And the modern family home. It's got some very urban style artwork up on the walls while the rest of the house is very neutral, black and white. Again, I think that's a very cool sort of appearance. And the paintings themselves are actually pretty interesting. And the Terminator, he is dressed in his hip hop outfit as well again neutral red that seems to be the theme uh, but just everything down to the necklaces and the hoodie and everything just i love the impact it's had and i highly recommend playing around with a few different characters to see what results you can get and darth vader is back about to hit the streets with his hoodie and the usual sort of additions made of polished marble so this is a really cool material type style like uh, you can use for things like statues so the terminator again it's like a statue of the terminator like i said uh, in a few videos kind of like that half arnie half endoskeleton look but it's added an actual face and sunglasses this is a very interesting mix of the two with the marble statue but the way it has broken the face up into panels i thought was also an interesting touch the incredible hulk just like a little hulk statue you find in your house i kind of wish i had this statue actually because it looks cool although it does look like he's uh you know going to the toilet and pikachu this one looks a little bit more of like an old-fashioned statue something very clean and simple but uh also something you have in your house and it looks heavy 
I will we'll say that. But uh, I like the way his yellow cheeks instead of red, just to kind of get some yellow into the image. And the modern family home. This home looks expensive. That's all I'm going to say. Home made out of marble. Very cool. Same with the futuristic car. Made out of marble. I'd hate to crash this car. It looks very expensive. Also, uh, judging by the piece at the front, looks like it could be a BMW. And the woman's face. I like the way it kind of looks like a close-up of a statue. Even to the point, if you look inside the eyelids, the nostrils, and the mouth, they don't continue all the way in. They are, look like they've been carved out only to a point, which I thought was a nice touch when it comes to the idea of like creating a statue. Made of nests, another very fun and cool phrase. It does a, has a unique effect, very consistent. You can see the woman's face. It's a woman's face covered with nests and bits and pieces. But when you move on to Darth Vader, he is also covered, but a little bit more made out of nests. I, I don't know how easily he's breathing with that mouthpiece filled with sticks and uh, you know bits of leaves. But the Incredible Hulk, he is literally made out of bits of tree nests and he's starting to sort of turn. But for some reason, he's inside a studio at the same time. So I don't know how that works. And the beautiful waterfall in nature, it just looks a little bit messier, but I like the way it has impacted it and given it more of a nesty feel. And the Terminator, covered in nests. Again, he has come, got bits and pieces coming out of him everywhere. So uh, he's also very rusty, which he probably would be if he was made out of nests, but it's probably just that trying to match that wood feel that you would get. And the modern family home made out of nests. I guess if birds had super intelligence, this is the kind of home they would make. And I think it turned out pretty cool. And Mario completely made out of nests and a very interesting impact. It's kind of like a statue made out of bits and pieces of nests with certain elements being the right color and a Mario patch sewn on the top. And inspired by Food. There was a whole bunch of different foods you can try here. I just stuck with three, but this is uh, can be hit and miss, but I picked the best to show you what you can get, so try a few, and that is a woman's face inspired by watermelon. She has melon kind of going into the face, which was uh, kind of interesting and just an interesting image, but you move on to Pikachu inspired by pizza, and you've got a Pikachu pizza. So <laughs> a pizza with the Pikachu ears and the face on it, uh, very, very cool um, sort of use type of thing you might find in a kid's party, but you probably don't want them to eat the ears because they look like they're made of plastic. And the Terminator, inspired by pineapple. His head is a pineapple. It's kind of like uh, instead of being that cyborg fused with the living tissue of a human, he's also fused with the living tissue of a pineapple. And this is actually would be fr quite frightening to actually see in a movie, I think, if you were really honest with yourself. And woman's face inspired by pizza and her skin, bits and pieces of it, have salami and cheese um, and just the cracks. Very different and kind of a little gross as well. And a samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji. Now, I thought this was interesting because none of the elements look like they're made out of watermelon, but the colors of the picture are watermelon colors. You've got the green, the red, and you've got slices of watermelon around him. I thought that was an interesting interpretation. Futuristic car. This is a watermelon car if you look at the hood it's red like watermelon with the green skin of the watermelon on the hood and again if you move to pineapple we've got this pineapple futuristic car i feel like you could actually see that somewhere although i don't look don't think it would drive too well having this shiny pineapple skin wheels but uh it's just very interesting the way it's able to interpret this and kind of transform a pineapple into a car and of course mario he's the same as the terminator his hair is pineapple but the rest of him seems pretty straightforward apart from some weird kind of scratchiness in the skin totem pow so you should give gothic horror hybridism a style uh, shot it's pretty cool so gothic horror hybridism some really cool imagery here especially if you're into horror if you're not you might want to skip ahead a bit but uh, the woman's face gothic nothing too scary about this just a nice use of gothic dark colors and lots of sort of trees and like burnt out like sticks kind of like what you'd see in a horror movie at night move on to the incredible hulk he's a little bit more gruesome a little bit more rough around the edges and moving on to darth vader he just has a cool throne he looks like he's just like a medieval horrible villain um kind of like a taking him back in time a little bit and of course the futuristic car i really love this it's uh has just a really kind of gothic look to it even the way it has the two sort of round windows at the top in metal everything is made out of that dark metal and the entire picture is that dark feeling and the gothic style building in the background and pikachu he again looks a little bit horrible looks like he's about to try and go out and kill a bunch of people 
and the way his hands are ready, like that's a, I think that's a sign that he's ready to do something. The soulless look in his eyes. I really like that. Terminator just looks a little bit more horrible than usual, but a painted style, but still worth including because it has still had a pretty nifty overall impact on the artwork. And this is a very cool tip, trying something that isn't real. So some effects give really interesting interpretations to prompts like whimsical surrealism or subtle paranoia. So I've actually tried to use these as styles instead of as the subject. So if we move on to whimsical surrealism. So this image with the balloons, I think looks pretty cool. But you add it to the woman's face and you do get some nifty effects. That layered effect, I think is pretty cool. And you move on to the Incredible Hulk. It's kind of like a burning forest on his head and some buildings around his chin. Just an interesting blend of imagery. Moving on to Darth Vader, the head on the beach with a tiny Death Star. This is very abstract. I am actually surprised at how well I thought this one worked out. And on top of that, it is a nice painted style while nailing the look of the mask. And the Terminator, similar to Darth Vader, but a drawing style where it's just a head in the middle of nowhere. The Terminator coming from a barren future. It looks like he's in a barren wasteland with some pretty kind of serious looking clouds around him. The modern family home, the difference in shape and the way it looks, this was a very interesting interpretation. And uh, just from whimsical surrealism, the word surrealism would actually go pretty far, but the word whimsical, I feel like, just makes it a little bit more fun. That's probably how it's been interpreted. And the futuristic car, this also looks cool with those big pink headlights and uh, just a really cool image overall. Looks like a nice 3D render. And Pikachu, this one I just thought it's like a giant Pikachu kind of just stuffed into a scene very different and uh yeah, just a different kind of layer beautiful waterfall in nature doesn't look crazy but uh it has nice elements in it the birds off up in the sky and that light shining through i feel like it's taken some of the characteristics or visual patterns of that image and put it in there without it being 100 percent. so it's actually i don't know it just had a nice impact on that image as well and subtle paranoia. So this one, just the look in the eyes here, it's ca I think it's captured that emotion pretty well. Move on to the woman's face. And again, that subtle paranoia, the way you can't see one side of her face, the way it's drenched in shadow, and all you can see is the other eye. It's like she's paranoid and kind of watching something to make sure nothing goes wrong. It's kind of like a scene you'd see in a movie, but painted. And Mario looks like he is a bit paranoid and angry, not looking very happy. And Darth Vader, even though you can't see his face, the way his body language, he's kind of looking down on that red environment around him. It does have a really good use of art and colors and mood to bring that paranoia into the image. And the Terminator, a little bit harder. <laughs> he just still looks like a killing machine, but the use of red and blue, very nice. And this image I thought was just a cool sort of blend of those colors. The futuristic car, just the, the use of colors, the tone, the mood, uh, it's kind of in that direction, but there's no sense of paranoia here. Kind of hard to get it with a car, but I actually do wonder how much it influenced the actual design of the car because it has a very black, chic sort of look to it. Pikachu, he just looks angry. So you can see how they've tried to inject some of that negative emotion into Pikachu as well, whilst giving it a really muted and stark, just well, not stark, but just the color. The color of the image looks very dull and uh, just a very negative emotional state. The beautiful waterfall of nature, again, that muted color, that sad looking sort of like use of color and mood just adds, adds a nice element to that image. So River Fox has come back with some more and got a quite a long prompt, which I'm, I'm not going to read this whole thing here. You can stop and read it if you want to by pausing, but uh, also Surreal Cybergoth. So I've got both of them on here and we'll start with Surreal Cybergoth simply because it's the simpler one. And this image already is, I think, quite cool, especially the pink glow in the eyes. And the woman's face, it's kind of got that cybernetic but gothic feel to it, especially with the really white skin and the dark elements over the top. The gold sort of like color in the eyes, I really like the, the use of color in this image. And the Incredible Hulk, a bit different again. Cyber goth, it's just kind of got that horror feel to it, but with all the cybernetics that have added in. Darth Vader it just looks a little bit creepier with all the bits and pieces. Uh, it's just the way it's decorated this stuff is a little really quite cool and the little leather sort of cape sort of like corners on his shoulders I thought was a nice touch 
The Terminator is actually a woman this time. Similar to a woman's face, but more Terminator-esque with those eyes. The eyes have a very pink glow to them, but inside the frame, kind of like what you expect to see in the Terminator skull. And the modern family home, again, just a nice sort of touch. The way it's changed the look of the home and the shape and the elements it's used to create that sort of really kind of like cyber goth kind of feel i imagine the word surreal would definitely be contributing to the shape of the house a futuristic car i love the look of this car very different from the others i've seen in the past so uh just using that those terms to create something very different it looks like it's tried to cram a, th a third wheel in the middle there pikachu is now half pikachu half woman wearing headphones kind of like a goth woman this was surprising and a nice blend of the character and something completely different than what I expected. Beautiful Waterfall in Nature has kind of relied more on the colors and the layouts in the sense that the water almost has a technological layout to it. But you look at it, it's just water, but it does have that kind of technological feel to it if you look at it at first glance. In the style of Liam Sharp, powerful and emotive portraiture, Dimitri Danish detailed science fiction illustrations. I'm probably going to say that name wrong, so I'm just going to stop there. But this is a long one but has a very consistent look like you can see on the screen here. So the woman's face, a painted futuristic sort of cyber look, which uh, I think turned out all right as well. And the Incredible Hulk, that same painted feel is there. You've got the elements of technology in there as well. It does have also that actual style of like the proportions and the face. It looks like something out of a graphic novel or a graphic novel cover, I should say, not so much a graphic novel. And Darth Vader, I actually just really like the way the lightsaber glowed against this painted look. Uh, it just has a really, just the way it creates that painted look and that realism, I think looks pretty good. And you can see it with the Terminator again, that same style of painting. It just looks, it just, it's just very consistent. And I really like this one, the modern family home, where it looks like they've, they've got a robot outside which helps them with their tasks. However, just the way there's light outside and almost like the robot is blocking the light. It's like something dark and sinister is about to happen. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the movie I Robot, but a much scarier version of it. Futuristic car, very much uh, like a, a very dim future. Lots of kind of like crime on the streets and this car is just speeding through in the rain. Very, very cool effect. Pikachu again in the rain, not really having a great time. Always tends to have a hood on whenever you get a, a variation of him. But uh, he's kind of like on a windowsill or something. And again, that painted style, it's just, there's something about this prompt. It just nails that sort of feel and that painted style each time. But otherwise, those are the styles for this week, guys. And again, thank you to everyone who submitted these styles because nearly, they're pretty much always amazing. And I really just get awesome results every time I use them. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again next week. Have a great day.